Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at changing your font with the text tool within TrueCut already works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. Yeah. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the text tool, and I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. So now that we're actually getting to the um, editing uh, area of the text tool, we're going to be looking at the first option, which is changing the font or the fonts. Now, in order to um, uh, so, uh, do that, we want to make sure our selection tool is enabled. Obviously, if you're adding new text, you can do it straight from there, but we already have pre-existing text, so I'm just going to select it, double click it, and then we will see we've got the options here. Now, right on top here, we've got the two different types. We've got true type font and SHX font. So before we go into the normal font, let's just quickly cover the SHX, because uh, in my opinion, you don't use it much. So we'll just have a quick overview of what it is. So now in uh, a short, this is um, an XAS, uh, SHX file, contains a uh, shape um, or font compiled by Autodesk AutoCAD. And this is from a, a generally, I think the .shp shape file, or it can also be a .pfb font file. Now um, it stores shapes and definitions as well as font definitions for displaying custom text. Um, SHX files support many types, uh, one or many type one PostScript fonts. So now, yeah, it's a, I would say if you are familiar with working with this, I would love to hear in the description how you go about it. But um, yeah, in general, I'll just be working with normal fonts. Now, something to keep in mind about the normal fonts is um, when you change it, you can simply make sure it is selected through type fonts, click on this little arrow. Then you can select a new font now you will notice that we don't see any updates in this little font area so this does not show us what our font looks like we will only see the changes when we finally click ok and then the font will change so it is rather important to note that so you unfortunately cannot just update it live here you need to click ok first in order for that to change and this is pretty much where you'll be selecting all your fonts. Going through here, select the right fonts, and then say OK. It's rather simple to change your fonts. Um, just keep in mind to locate it. You need to double click your text you want to change. And then from this drop down menu with the right one selected, change your font like that and click OK to confirm it or cancel to cancel the action. But yeah, otherwise, in the meanwhile, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the training videos you're looking for just simply go here request a training video fill in the mini form then we'll do our best to make that for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers